Uh, 51 million is the total amount that's come into um, the region in total. For, for this particular project, it's 10.67 million pounds for our particular that's strand. Not, a, not, not to be sniffed at, is it? No, no, not, not at all. So what are you going to do with that money? Well, the main aim of the money is to reach as many people as we possibly can. Um, our particular strand is called Bridges. Um, it's to help people identify barriers to work and help them overcome them, um, to assist people on their journey and, and help them through obstacles in, in life in general, not just all about work. They've got to be 25, haven't they? Yeah, 25 plus. Any yeah. particular reason why you've chosen that as, as an age? Mainly the, the way the Commissioner put the strand together was to avoid duplication in, in mm. around um, other services that are around younger people aged 19 to 24. There's quite a lot of European money being put towards um, those in the NEAT group, not, in, not engaged in employment, education and training. So it's, it's really to pick up on when somebody's mm. not eligible for that strand, they, they get picked up once they turn 25. And I suppose the feeling is that by the time they're 25, they, they've reached a certain maturity uh, in knowing what they want mm -hmm. to do, even if the actual doing of it isn't that easy. Yeah, you would like to think so sometimes. I think I only, I only figured out what I wanted to do when I was about 27, I think, to be fair. Um, yeah. We get a fair few people come to us um, in much later life, actually, that, um, that might have been subject to being made redundant and they want a complete career change and they're just unsure of how to go about mm -hmm. things. So for us, the whole aspect of what we do is about understanding the individual's needs and then tailoring the support plan. So I say you've got to be 25. Have you got an upper age limit? Nope. No, working age and uh, working age nowadays can be, you know, 70, 80, whichever, really, to be honest. Um, typically, it would always be 18 to 65, pensionable mm -hmm. age. But um, we, you know, we've just helped a, a chap into work who was 62, got made redundant uh, after a long time at one company. and. Uh, he walked into one of our one-stop shops, asked for some advice and guidance on a CV. Um, we worked with him a little bit and made, made him do some cold calling. And before he know it, he got an interview and got another job within days. So sometimes mm. that could be the thin end of the, the service, if you like. Yeah. yeah. In that particular case, I mean, did he have a complete career change? Yeah, yeah he went to something completely different. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Was that through choice or, or, or circumstance? I, I think because he worked so long in one particular area, I think he just wanted to repackage his skills and put them somewhere else. And, and from our point of view, sometimes the realisation is um, what you've got and what skills and experience you've got don't mm. always match what the labour market needs. And you know the jobs that are out there are the ones that are being recruited for. So it's maybe a little bit of both. Mm. So you're getting just under £11 million. Pounds. How long is that going to last you? Three years up until December 31st, uh, 2019. Mm. So it's um, split out across the three years fairly mm. you know, and equally. The main aim is that it will cover the, um, the cost of a programme um, in relation to helping other community partners reach as many people as possible across the black country. And is that a, a training programme? It's not, no. It's, um, there are many training programmes that are already out there. The whole point of this money is particularly to do things that are a little bit different or innovative or fill in some of the gaps that probably exist between training programmes, etc. So we've got, um, there's quite a, a bundle of work that's been done by lots of partners around employability, including mm -hmm. ourselves. What we've actually done is gone out to find partners that can do things that are very, very different or somewhat innovative or completely fill the gaps. So, so are, we, are we talking here that this money that's coming in, is this come all from Europe or is it? It's co-financed. It's 50-50 um, co-financed from European Social Fund uh, and Big Lottery. So mm. the, the half and half pretty much. Um, what you've got then is the, uh, the Black Country Consortium on behalf of the Local Enterprise mm. Partnership involved with um, the local authorities and the stakeholders in the region to be able to commission the service at the very beginning. And I think my first meeting on this, I look back in my calendar just before coming out, was December 2014. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the original time frame sort of slipped and was pushed back, but that was, so they made sure they got the right amount of partners and the right type of partners delivering the service. Now that we've, we as a country have voted, albeit narrowly, to come out of Europe, mm -hmm. Will this affect programmes like this in the future? I think it could. I mean, ultimately, the match funding element um, will always be in question, and DWP um, are starting to look at their commissioning. And I think what's important for the West Midlands region is that you've got the advent of the combined West Midlands Authority. Uh, they will have a lot more autonomy and power in, in figuring out what money comes from Whitehall mm. and where any match funding might come from in the future. So you're looking at post-2019, 2020, if you like. Um, by the time we are officially out of the EU, um, I think they'll have identified other means of match funding by then. So, so this, this money is for the black country, is yep. that right? Four local authorities at the moment, yep. Sandwell, Dudley, Wolverhampton yep. and Warsaw. Warsaw. Yep. Yeah. And is that area targeted because 
for those, say, from 25 to 30 particularly, are likely to be a group that, that need a lot of help? You know, in most inner city and, and sort of um, sub-regions, you'll always get that. Mm. Um, there are entrenched um, cohorts of people that suffer the, the all sorts of reasons and barriers to not get into work. Um, the black country, all the indices of deprivation, etc., have been used to calculate the, the outputs. Mm. So from the, the overall outputs of the contract are to help 15% of everybody that's reached into work, 15% into training, accredited or non-accredited, and 15% of people to transform them from those that weren't looking for work to become mm -hmm. actively looking for work. Um, so the, the, the outputs are all um, very targeted on progression rather than just the hard outcome of in work or not in work.